Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I want to do a short video here replying to some of the comments that I got from the previous video. The one about the Navy SEAL, this guy from Frogrant Tactical, who basically challenges Sean Strickland to a street fight, which he actually thinks he could win. And he goes even further and says that any Navy SEAL would beat Sean, Sean Strickland. Um, let me just start by saying n no. There's no chance in hell, heaven or earth, in this universe or any other parallel dimension where that guy, this guy, beats Sean Strickland, former UFC champion up until a week ago. They could fight a million times, he would lose all of them. It simply cannot happen. It is a mathematical impossibility. This is like me hoping I could do a heart transplant because I really, really feel I can. No, I cannot. I could do it a thousand times. I will end up killing the poor bastard that I'm operating because I'm not a fucking surgeon. I'm not a heart surgeon and I cannot do these things no matter how much I wish I could. This man here is not a professional mixed martial artist and he has no chance in hell of defeating the champion of the world in that discipline. I'm not even going into the man's age, I'm just going by him not being a mixed martial artist at all. He's a former soldier, former Navy SEAL. As far as I know, in my limited understanding of these things, Navy SEALs, special forces from the United States or any other country on this planet, they don't go about their job in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They use guns, which are by far the most effective way of killing people. Again, as far as I know, if you know something better, more <laughs> quicker than that, but as far as I know, they use some kind of semi-automatic carbine so as to get the job done. You're not training day in and out in mixed martial arts using the most effective disciplines in a combination fighting in a fucking cage naked. You don't do that, right? Okay, then you have no chance of defeating a mixed martial artist. This guy can, this man probably cannot defeat a decent blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Again, I cannot do heart surgery. I cannot defeat someone that has trained in things that I'm completely unaware of. Someone mentions Tim Kennedy. The man is a mixed martial artist, former Navy SEAL. But the key word is he is a mixed martial artist. He trains in all of these disciplines. Conor McGregor is a former plumber. Does that mean that all plumbers are badasses that would beat anyone in a fight, in a street fight? Of course not. He just happens to be a plumber, used to be a plumber, started training, became a mixed martial artist, and then a professional one, and so it goes. It is, I mean, it, it's, there's levels to these things. And yes, a uh, Navy SEAL has some understanding of hand-to-hand -hand fighting, but it's not what they do all the time. It would be stupid to invest 90% of your time in learning different mixed martial arts and di different martial arts disciplines and combining them to fight some other guy in hand-to-hand -hand fighting when that is much better invested in the things that they actually do. Learning how to jump out of planes, learning how to die, how to swim, how to put bombs, close quarter combats with firearms. Yes, some hand-to-hand -hand combat, sure. Some knife fighting, yes. Ideally, they'll never have to use any of that. But if they end up using it, it's going to be firearms, not hand-to-hand -hand fighting. And if you think for just one second that a guy that has... Uh, arguably a very passing knowledge on what it's like to fight in, in a cage against someone else, you're going to be beating the world champion? You are fucking insane. And I mean that with all the, all the respects in the world because I know that some of you guys mean well, but it just shows the, the lack of understanding of these things. And no, the, <laughs> uh, it turns up in a, in a no. There, there's no way. It's impossible. And I get it that some of you guys may have done karate and uh, someone mentions judo. Fine, you do judo, great. 
uh, how would you do in, in, in a boxing match? Let's say you've been doing judo for all of your life. Let's say you go into a ring and start boxing with someone. Do you think that your judo will do any good when you're fighting in, in, a, in, a, in, in a boxing competition? Oh, no, but this would be a, a street fight. Okay, in the street fight, you're talking about a guy that is using all of the most effective mixed martial arts. The, the, the martial arts that actually work, those are the ones that the guy is an expert at, a world champion at. And you think that this guy is going to beat him because there's no rules in a street fight. That's the, that's the thing you don't understand, Fernando. No, I understand it a lot better than you obviously do. It doesn't mean anything. We've already gone through these things. There was vale todo, right? Everything goes. You can do anything you want. You still got your ass beaten by the more qualified mixed martial artists, the one that combines stri striking, kicking, grappling, and wrestling the best. It used to be the case that the Brazilian jiu-jitsu guys won all of the matches, and then things kept on evolving, and it evolved to this point. This is the ultimate expression of a guy fighting with their empty hands. Now... Our friend here, Navy SEAL, shows up with a gun. Sure. He's going to be shooting the crap out of Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland actually has a concealed carry gun, and he actually used it against some... No, but he's not going to be beating the former Navy SEAL in fighting with guns or, you know, close quarter combats or organizing an attack on a, on a house or a building or rappelling down a chopper, whatever the fuck it is that he did. No, but you cannot expect to be not only good at, but beat the best in the planet when you haven't even done any of this. That's what I mean, okay, guys? Simply just uh, explaining these things. And you know, you know what is actually good? Try things out. If you think you're going to be beating... Uh, a guy, I know that lots of you folks have some experience either in different martial arts because I was reading the comments. So if you are, you know, active duty, active duty military, if you're a Marine and you think you can beat someone that has, um, you have some friend of yours that competes in judo, try fighting him. Try, I mean, you don't have to kill each other. Just give it a go. Friendly spar. See how it goes. You have a friend that boxes. Try beating your boxer friend and see how well it, it goes. See how well your um, combatives mix that you got from, from whatever uh, branch you were in works against someone that does this even at an amateur level. I'm not even suggesting trying it against someone that is a pro. <laughs> and I'm not even going into this point of thinking you could beat fucking Sean Strickland. Uh, which, by the way, the guy is kind of insane. So, yeah, this is not something that, that you're not likely to see. I, I just saw a video of him, you know, light sparring there in the snow with a guy. He will, against anyone that challenges him, he will go at it. And there's videos of uh, UFC fighters, you know, sparring with, with guys from uh, Navy SEALs and such. No, they have no chance in hell. I mean, they just spar a little bit in a, in a friendly manner, but simply because you take out the rules, the rules are there to stop people from killing one another. If you don't have a guy stopping the fight once you get knocked down, you get killed. If you have someone on a rare naked choke and you don't let go of him, the guy is going to die. If you go for a neck crank and you keep on going, you're going to break the guy's neck. So these are the things that would happen if you didn't have these rules to protect you. And thinking that, oh, but I'm going to be eye-poking or grabbing someone's balls or sticking a finger or grabbing an ear. That is not changing what happens when, uh, when an expert, when a professional mixed martial artist fights someone that is not that, okay? It's just, it's simply the way it is. And, you know, it's it's important to know, you know, what is it that, what it, how does the saying go? You you will not rise to the occasion. You will just fall back to your uh, highest level of uh, acquired skill or training. The same goes for this. If you're not a hand-to-hand -hand fighting expert, you will not be the best in the planet. That is just 
ridiculous and you know maybe yeah very concerning that people that, that a grown ass man that has uh, military experience actually believe that for a second yeah and egos and so on guys that's it for now just want to comment on this because no it, it, impossible no matter how many times they try see you on the next one take care